in this temperature and humidity experiments we have seen that the effect of um, before we have calculated the effect of a was calculated as six comfort level if you increase level a to level b low to high level this was our a the humidity was our level uh, factor b and then we calculated the effect of uh, b was um, uh, three and then the interaction effect interaction between the temperature and the humidity effect was calculated as um, I think it's, it was 0.5 or 1 I think it was 1 and then oftentimes in a uh, factorial experiments um, the the variables are quantitative so we can actually develop a regression equation like this y equals beta 0 so a regression mean model will look like this in this case beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 1 2 x1 2 plus the error experimental error now these estimates and then the estimated y response comfort b0 plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus b12 x2 and then estimated error is zero basically so uh, the estimate we calculate the the estimated value of a estimated effect is basically one half of uh, this effect of a so b1 is basically six by two and then b2 is basically three by two and the effect of a b b12 which is uh, 1 by 2. Now if you want to calculate the B0, the intersection value, B0 basically is the average of all of these uh, values. So B0 is basically 0 plus 2 plus 9 plus 5 divided by 4. We added 4 numbers, the average of uh, 4, and the average of this that's 9, 5, 14, plus 2, 16, um, divided by 4 would be uh, basically, this is the estimate directly. That would be, um, sorry about that, something is stuck there. Okay, so that would be calculated as basically 4. So 9, 11 plus 5 is 16, divided by 4 is 16, B0. So the estimated regression line will look like basically 4 plus 3, X1 plus 1.5, X2 plus 0.5, X1, 2. So that is the regression equation or estimated Y. Now we can plot a response surface um, on that which we'll show you in the next video how to develop response surface using data from these two variables and comfort.